<laughs> I think my live button says we are live. Welcome, my friends. It is so good to see you here today. Um, okay, I'm having a little bit of, yeah, technical difficulties, but I think, I think I'm here. I think I'm here. <laughs> Welcome. Oh my goodness, so glad to see you this Tuesday afternoon. And Jerry's here, Linda, Michelle. Let's see, Brenda is here, Tina, Judy, Lisa's here. Welcome, Shirley, Carolyn, Janice, Jane, Debbie, Victoria, Kristen. Oh my goodness, so good to see all of you guys. Big, gigantic, enormous hugs. So wonderful to have you here for my Craft Some Joy. Let's talk about new things live. <laughs> but today, we are actually going to be doing something fun. I'm going to do a little layout share with you guys. So um, I was kind of coming up with some things. You know, I like to keep this Tuesday to share a little bit more about, you know, what I've been working on, what I've been doing, uh, new ideas, new things I've been thinking of. So that's what's happening today. Uh, last Saturday, we officially kicked off Album in a Day, and I had a lot of you join me live, which was so amazing to see you and have you scrap along with me. And as I've mentioned before, Album in a Day is kind of a new format, a new thing. So I wanted to share today uh, some of the layouts that we created, kind of do a quick album share, and then talk a little bit about what's new. So welcome, welcome, everybody who's just hopping on. It's so good to see all your, your names and faces. <laughs> okay, um, so welcome, welcome. And... So, yeah, Shannon says, big bear hugs, <laughs> right? Um, yeah, hopefully, I haven't seen the bear. The bear came while I was taking Carrie to the airport. So, anyhow, that was, that was for fun. All right, friends. So, today, what I want to do is a little bit, like I mentioned, um, sharing my layouts. Before we get started there, oh, I always feel like I'm so... Um, <laughs> so short when that comes across. Hello. There we go. Um, I have to sit up tall. Uh, but if you're new here, these are the places you can find me. I always like to just put that up there so you have that reference because I'm always seeing that there's new people going, wow, I never knew. Never knew you had a YouTube channel. Never knew. Um, oh, and that reminds me, for those of you who were trying to rewatch last Tuesday where Carrie and I went to Daiso, we were having, you know, I didn't think of that about streaming issues and service problems when you walk into a store. So sometimes what happens with that is, you know, uh, you, you walk into a store and maybe there's a lot of metal or something in the building and it kind of zaps your uh, cell service. So uh, most of it got recorded on Facebook. So if you were on YouTube trying to watch more, just come over to Facebook, Craft Some Joy with Lauren on Facebook and scroll down my feed a little bit. And the stream there seemed to, you know, stay longer. For some reason, YouTube just said, I'm done and quit at like four minutes. So I'm trying to get that fixed. I just haven't had a chance to do it. But anyhow, in case you wanted to see a little more of the Daiso store, if you don't have one near you. Okay. And Pam, oh my goodness, you must be enjoying Hawaii. I love it. I know I'm, yeah, aloha. <laughs> right back at you. Okay. Good to see all of you guys. Pam from Canada's here and Donnell. Donnell, ooh, that is a new name. See, I haven't seen, and look at your beautiful picture of the Eiffel Tower. Okay, so let's jump in and get started to um, what we're going to share today. I'm going to switch over to my desk. There we go. And let me get this kind of situated so you can see a little bit better. Okay. Um, and I'm going to kind of share a few, uh, some new things that are going on, some ideas that I've had, 
and uh, just some other all all kinds of goodies today. So stay tuned. Um, and also just want to say thank you so much for the um, thumbs up and the uh, thank yous, you know, in the comments. I, I watched this little snippet on YouTube and they said, you know, how do we recommend your videos? Well, one of the things was how much you guys uh, watch the videos and uh, interact with it, which means those comments uh, and the like reactions, thumbs up, ha hearts, happy faces, you know, all that. So I, I really appreciate that because that does help me as a content creator um, every time you do that. So thank you. Okay, we are going to jump in. I was really thrilled on Saturday um, that album in a day, what we did is we walked through and I actually went through my whole process on how to create 16 layouts. We did 16 pages, which was eight double page spreads. And uh, I was thrilled. I, there was just one two page spread I was hoping to get to that I did not get to. And, um, and, oh, Siri, Siri, stop. I'm going to come back to this. So don't let me forget that. Um, <clears throat> hold on. I have to put Siri on a timeout. <laughs> As Carrie would say, Siri, you're on a timeout. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here is uh, the first two page spread. And as I mentioned, we went through and, and my goal was twofold. One, to teach you that there's a simple classic style of scrapbooking where you don't have to follow fancy, fancy sketches, but really the focus is on your photos. So here's something I just want to say up front, and this is where I really feel like I scrapbook different than, you know, some other content creators because I feel like this is more true to myself, kind of how I've always scrapbooked. Now, like I've said, I love the super fancy pages and I do those uh, on occasion, but to me, this scrapbooking is my true, like heartfelt, the way I love to do it. Now, I want you to pay attention to a couple things as we're going through the layouts. One is, what's the first thing you look at? I mean, my hope, whenever I open an album, my hope, the first thing is that you look at my photos because my photos are the star of my pages. So I am not your, your scrapbooker that will only put two photos on a page or three photos on a page and then do all the stuff around it. Like I, uh, on occasion, I will, <laughs> okay? It's not like you, you know, there's no right or wrong to scrapbooking. It's just, you know, how we all do it. But, but when I want to scrapbook, I want to tell a story with my photos. And what I find is if I only picked two photos out of a layout, because, you know, everything else has to, you know, get embellished all around those two photos, I'm going to be missing part of the story that some of the other photos are telling. If I'm locked in to only choosing a certain few photos, you know, I may not have chosen this photo, but really this photo tells a story about what it was like to live with my mom. This says life with mom. And as some of these Odo, other photos, <laughs> Other photos, Odos, I made a word. <laughs> okay, so um, these, like necessarily, they're not like your best photos, but this is film, this goes back, this is uh, 1994. So this is film photos. I don't have a lot of pictures. So I want to look at the pictures and kind of remember, oh yeah, that was mom's little kitchen. It's gone now, friends, like, you know, it, we don't have the house. We don't, a lot of the houses in our area just got demolished and rebuilt. So I want to save that little photo of me cooking in her tiny little kitchen and, you know, the closet in the room that I lived in. Oh yeah. I remember that hutch my mom had in that corner, you know, that was where she put her mail. And, you know, so all these memories start flooding back 
even though they're not the perfect photo, right? You get it? And that to me is why I really love scrapping this way. I want to fill my pages with as many photos that bring back, that evoke those memories for me so that I can remember what life was like. And that to me is just the most meaningful and most wonderful gift of scrapbooking. So um, we did this layout. This was using Welcome, uh, new, uh, welcome Home. <laughs> Yes, that was it. Welcome home. So I talked through kind of how, you know, we went around and, and put this and why I chose different things. Now, the other thing that I've decided, I'm going to share it actually on the next two pages. But, but before we go there, I also just want to say um, these fo photos, close up photos of these layouts will also be in the classroom. So once I finished a layout like this, I will take a picture when I have good <laughs> lighting and, um, and then put that in the classroom so that you can, you know, kind of get a better idea of what that finished layout looks like. So when I left the, uh, when we did the layout, I didn't have my title because I wasn't sure if I wanted to cut it. I ended up using silver ABC stickers, which I like the way that looks on my little title cluster over here. And then I added um, a tab for my peekaboo pocket, which remember you guys know, I absolutely, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, <laughs> absolutely love my tab. So this one says under here, and I was able to just uh, punch this with the tab punch using some of the, um, you know, just a little scrap of cardstock. And then I think it was Lisa, wasn't it, Lisa? You were like, man, that needs a flop stopper, Lauren. So make sure you get a flop stopper on that page. So I also did add a flop stopper. And some people are like, what is a flop stopper? What are you talking about? And I had one right here. Ah, where'd it go? Well, anyhow, they are just a Craft Some Joy creation that when you open and close a page, you can see my peekaboo pocket doesn't flop as it would if I didn't have that flop stopper. See how it kind of opens and closes as you're turning your scrapbook pages? Well, this stops the flop. It's just a little uh, plastic tab with some clear adhesive already put on there for you. And you just pop that on there so that it will hold your peekaboo pocket down, but you just, you know, move it out of the way and you can see what's under it. So under here, I have some, let me go back up. So you can see it, I have some memorabilia that I tucked into the peekaboo pocket and my journaling. So um, love the, all the, you know, the little details I think are so fun. And then this, I decided to cut one of the titles, um, title card, mat cards with my die cut, with a die cut. So love that. All right. Now, not only am I going to... Um, uh, give you those close-up pictures, but another perk I thought for my album in a day, folks. Now, my goal was to not, to, to wean you off sketches, to tell you, you don't need sketches to do pages, right? <laughs> um, but I am going to give you, I feel like I feel like understanding measurements and how I use paper. So like this is one sheet of paper cut at a certain point so that you can bring it across two pages and so on and so forth. I have decided I'm going to give you sketches, just very, you know, easy sketches like this um, for my pages, but it's going to take me a little time to put those together. But I feel like having that, and I don't know if Mary's here yet, but Mary and I have talked a lot about, Lauren, you really should have your own style of sketch book. <laughs> so maybe this is a step in that direction where it gives you kind of that visual formula of, you know, what size photos, where you cut your paper, how you can arrange them on the pages, as well as the actual finished page. So I'm thinking that's going to be helpful for 
um, my album in a day, folks. So that will be kind of a bonus feature. And remember, everything is available on replay. And um, and so let me know if you think that is a good addition for my album in a day, folks. Um, but I I think you I think you're gonna like it. <laughs> All right. So let me just check the chat here. Um, <laughs> Shelly says, I wish my photos looked at that good in 1994. I know, right? Well, I don't have many, but, you know, I did have a few. Um, and Shirley says, yeah, I need that punch. This punch, Shirley, you will get so much use out of it. I love it, love it. And then my sentiment stickers, everything is sized to fit on the tab punch. Okay, so this one says this place. And then again, I did the same thing. Um, put a peekaboo pocket, put the journaling under it. And then I even put another sentiment sticker down here. Um, this is from my travel collection. And uh, just, you know, those little things to kind of bring in some fun to your pages. So this was another layout that we did, um, bringing in some Las Vegas and the um, adventure. Oh my goodness, Passport to Adventure Collection. Yep, that's the name of it. <laughs> okay, Passport to Adventure Collection. Um, okay, so that was another two-page spread. Oh, and this was a um, memorabilia pocket because I still had some ticket stubs. So I just tucked those into a memorabilia pocket and then put the photo on top. Uh, this was already done. This I have a video on this somewhere way, way back. <laughs> and... Um, I'll have to, I don't remember which, uh, I think it was a Friday night scrapbooking, but anyhow, I had already had this page done from the same year. So I did a complimentary page from the same little adventure we had. And uh, that, you know, again, with the Boho Escape collection. Okay. Oh, Debbie has a question. Is that you in that tab photo? I can really see your daughter in that picture. Yep. This is me in 1994, prior to kids. <laughs> These are all, all pictures of me and John when we were young. <laughs> right? So, yep, yep, that's it. You bet. That's me. This one, I think, is that what you were talking about? Yep, those are, that's, these are all me. So, um, okay, so there's, uh, this is the two-page spread. We ended up, I ended up having a lot of fun photos. Again, I love to me, sometimes I can do the journaling, right? But even just the pictures, just having the photos, it just brings back so memory, so many memories. So I love that I had actually a lot of photos from um, this fun little adventure to Lake Mojave with um, our friends, the wards. And I just loaded up the page with a bunch of, of photos. So Again, and, you know, this is not the, you know, most original, beautiful photo, but it shows a picture of the truck and the boat that we took out because I don't really have any other photos uh, of that. So it's, I, I just love going back and looking at these photos doing that. So this was another two-page spread using our moments, and I put a little finishing, a few finishing touches on, on this layout as well. Um, I still have... Um, I have a ticket. This was the Basha concert. Does anybody remember Basha? I loved listening to Basha. Well, we we were big Basha fans. So um, I had John actually had the Basha ticket. I've got to print, you know, scan it and print it and add it in here. I think it'll be really fun. And um, kind of finish this off. But this was showing how you can actually have photos from different events, but bring them, group them together with a collection that works across events. So even though I have Christmas over here, this was our anniversary. This was at a birthday party and this was the Basha concert. I didn't have a lot of photos, but you can see how you can use them together for a layout. And it works when you have kind of a neutral collection that you can work with. Now, something fun I want to share with you. Um, you can when I was putting this page together, they were like, Lauren, what is that thing in your phone? <laughs> what is that you're holding? Well, that has a funny story to it. That is our frozen top of our wedding cake from um, on our first anniversary. And you can see my page is kind of laid out already, right? Like I would have to put in a peekaboo pocket, but then I didn't have another photo and, you know, la, la, la. 
So I did a fun little hidden journaling box. So basically I'm using top loading sheet protect, uh, page protectors, the top loading 12 by 12 pocket pages. Let me get the terminology right. And um, when you have those, the fun thing you can do is have little reach in goodies. So I actually did my journaling on a dot grid card and then I added that famous tab, right? Love my tab punch in a complimentary paper. I just had another little scrap of this paper and then I put my pull um, sentiment sticker on there. So you can see it says pull and then that just, it because I put my adhesive on the corners of the photo, it just slides right, right behind it. And so that's kind of fun to just have the story. So this has the story of the cake. It wasn't very good, you guys. Um, in behind, tucked behind that photo and a little bit about, you know, here's the Christmas holidays. So you can find fun little things to do, uh, even if you have a myriad of different occasions all on a two page spread. Okay. Um, now this is actually one of my favorite layouts that I did, um, for album in a day, because I absolutely love the wide open places collection. And I love it so much. <laughs> I have quite a bit of it in my shop and I thought, you know what, this would be a fun product to highlight this week because not only can you use this collection of course, for horse pictures, ranch. This was my um, sister-in-law's ranch. Um, but I also want to mention how well the Wide Open Places collection works with, let me grab it, works with, um, you know, 80s photos, <laughs> those, those older photos. So when I was um, looking a little bit at uh, John's, album, I was thinking, oh man, you know, what collection am I going to use? Now we're talking old pictures, right? <laughs> we're talking old pictures and look how fabulous these old pictures look. This is the same wide open places collection. Um, I haven't finished these pages as you can see, but it has the denim, which is just like, oh, that is perfect. This was a trip to New Mexico. I mean, you guys remember these photos, right? Like they're, they're like old and kind of yellow and they have the rounded corners and I, but I love them. So, um, how, look at the difference in the layout between, um, the, uh, one, I, I'll show you a better picture of that. But this, again, fabulous. Look at this, this paper. Fabulous paper for these older photo layouts. So let me just kind of share, you know, I'm going to pop these down just like that. So this is going to be something, the layout's going to go something like this um, with just that little touch of the wide open spaces paper. So... I think this collection is so versatile and it's kind of forgotten. We kind of forget about it, um, but I'm going to kind of challenge you. I put it on sale, 30% off, and a lot of the pieces aren't even available anymore. 30% um, off in my shop for this week. And um, if you, I would love, if you're in my customer group, if you do a layout, oh, let's do this. I'm going to challenge you. If you do a layout, I got to write this down so I remember. If you do a layout with the Wide Open Places collection, anything, you can show anything, and you post it in my customer group, my, my um, Facebook customer group, I will put you in for a $25 credit drawing. How about that? I'm going to sweeten the deal. So, you know, those of you, I know you, you, you know who you are. You're so clever with the layouts. Show us your best wide open places layouts. Okay. So I'm going to write that me a note wide open layout. I just thought of that. So, <laughs> um, I have to remind myself. So if you do that, 
and post it in my customer, my Facebook customer group. If you're not on Facebook, email it to me. If you're a custom, one of my customers and you're not, email it to me and I'll put you in the drawing. So um, let's have some fun with that. Wouldn't that, yeah, I like that. I like that idea. You know, the brain is just ticking away right now. <laughs> so older photos, love wide open places with that. Um, and let me put this back over here. And then yet again, you know, really digging into the ranchy, horsey part of this collection. And um, I even did. I got the horse punch out, friends. I got the horse punch out. Punch that little horse. I mean, how long have I been wanting to actually use that horse punch? Um, and just had so much fun kind of layering up some stickers and using the wide open laser borders, gorgeous borders. And, uh, with the, with our horse, um, our, our venture over to John's sister's ranch. And then I, uh, got to tell the story over here. So that was another layout. Okay. Then we've got, um, mother's day and a day at the park. So again, I didn't have a whole lot of mother's day photos for a two page spread, but because we do all the prep work where we do our photo tracker, you know, for the photos and we do the album map. So I know where, you know, things are going to kind of land on my layout. Where's my map? This is all the prep work because we've done all of that for album in a day. I know that I can you know, which photos would work well together, right? So it just makes scrapbooking, I, to me, so much more enjoyable um, when that, you know, some of that decision-making is already done. This is using uh, the, uh, oh, goodness, what is the name of this collection? <laughs> Help me, friends. You know, this one, it's not Endless Meadows, it's the other one not spring medley. Um, hello, where is it? Not that one. Where is it? Okay. You guys know which one it is. It's just not popping into my brain. Um, so, um, <laughs> yeah, I, I know the horse was perfect. Wasn't it Debbie? I know it was like, like it was made for these layouts. So wasn't it so fun? So fun. Um, okay. Anyhow, um, why is this not popping into my head? Anyhow, let's go back. It'll come. One of you guys can pop it in there. Um, the, oh, now it's just driving me nuts. Okay. We'll, we'll get there. Mother's day paint and garden. Thank you. Debbie. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you, Jerry, Rebecca, and Debbie painted garden. Thank you. Yeah. So what I wanted to share, um, so the uh, last, the, a couple of the last layouts, I haven't quite finished. Like I still need to do a little journaling and, um, you know, like in another one, I, I have a title I want to do, but I had this idea and I was going to do it. And then I thought, oh, maybe it'll be fun to, to do it with you guys today. So as much as I love my tab punch, so I have a peekaboo pocket here and I was thinking, Ooh, what do I, you know, what color tab do I want to do? And I was looking at this gorgeous painted garden paper and I thought, oh gosh, what do I, what do I want? Oh, I really, really like that flower or this flower. And then it dawned on me, oh, I could do a circle tab kind of punch. So I'm just going to take my circle maker and go, Ooh, do I want to use that flower? That would be really pretty. Or do I want to do, I also just love this flower right here. And I think I'm going to use this one. So can you see how I've got that just tucked into the circle? And so I'm just going to give that a punch. And then the second one is just going to be I always have to do, you know, you have to do two. Let's see, I'm going to need the other. So this is going to be down and then this is going to flip up on the other. Yeah. Yeah. This is going to be fine. This one has a little B in it. I really think that's adorable. So I'm just going to punch there. 
Okay, so sometimes, uh, you know, you can use your tab punch, but also think of your other tools for creating a fun, <clears throat> a fun little element to lift. Now, these, this paper is kind of thin, so what I'm going to do just to give it a little bit of substance is just grab a piece of scratch um, white cardstock, and I'm just going to do the same thing, cut, punch that out, and then, where are my pieces? Here we go. I'm just going to stick those together. So, I grab my adhesive, I get regular adhesive. So this is all going to stay together really well. Sorry, you can't really see what I'm doing. I'm hiding it from you. Anyhow, I'm just sticking the back on there, right? And then now that gives that a little more substance that I can use to lift up. Then on the back side, it's going to be this fun little B when you lift it up. And I'm checking the back of my peekaboo pocket, and it's not going to be like covering up someone's face or anything. So what I'm going to do, actually, before I stick it on, this is also where I want to add a sentiment, you know, like lift or under here. And so I want to share something I'm super excited about which is, um, I have a new organizer for you. So you know that <laughs> as a crafter, I also have just as much excitement about organizing. And so I, I've tried, I figured out how to organize my own sentiment stickers. And then I thought, well, I've got to help you guys organize your sentiment stickers too. So um, I have now for sale in the shop, this sentiment stickers box. And it's this turquoise box, which I love. I have a sticker on here that says sentiment stickers. And then inside the box comes with five um, plastic dividers in here that you can use to categorize your stickers. So I'm gonna share, this is what my box looks like. It's much, you know, it's full. Um, I have a lot of my reject stickers in here, I just have to say, um, because, you know, it takes me a while to um, get the things perfect. And so, yeah, I get all my rejects. <laughs> That's just the way it is. So what I did is I took um, the label maker and I'm starting with four categories. I'm thinking of another category that... I'm going to be creating hopefully in the future and it's going to be um, like celebrations. But for now, I've got um, seasonal. Okay, so that's just one tab and that's for like the little gifty ones that I do every month. And so you can put seasonal behind there and you can totally DIY this yourself too. I just wanted to make it easy for you. Then the next one is directions. And, and I didn't do this because, you know, I know you guys, you like watching <laughs> people organize their stuff, right? So you can do it too. So this one is, <laughs> we're taking a break from scrapping. This one is directions. So these are the lift under here, you know, um, more, read more, pull, all those direction directions. Uh, stickers, sentiment stickers. And then um, under here, these are going to be my travel. So I'm going to take this and travel. And then the last category is arrows. So pull that off and stick travel on. I don't remember. Was I putting them in the middle? Maybe I should put them in the middle. Might have to do that first one over. Travel. And then the last... Um, category is arrows. And then the last one, I'm thinking I'm going to do celebrations because I have in my mind, like I want to do some birthday sentiments and, you know, just like, um, you know, things we celebrate. Okay. So there we have arrows. So we have arrows that are going to go on top of arrows. We've got travel which is going to go, you know, these are all the 
fun travel sentiment stickers and the matching word words that go with that. Then um, seasonal and directions. So now I can look under directions and figure out what do I want. Um, I think I want to do like an under here. I'm just going to kind of lift this. Let's see. I love this font. Um, maybe I'm going to do under here. Yeah, I'm going to do under here. Okay. So then you can just pop these guys back in. I, I'm a little over full. I got I got to take care of that. Um, and I'm and you, these you just you just cut apart. I don't know if you've seen me do this before or if this is a new thing, but it's so easy to use these. Um, and I just cut pretty close to the words. Whoops, let me throw that throw that around so that there you can see it just says under here. So I'm going to put this and and since I used a yellow flower, it's going to show up just fine. And you just peel the backing off. And sometimes what I like to do is, um, where did my, here it is, my multi-purpose tool. Make sure it's clean, friends. And you can just put that edge on the multi-purpose tool to help you get that right where you want it to be. I've got to bring it a little closer so I can see. Right there, under here. So now I have kind of a different, really pretty, I love this, really pretty tab that says under here. And uh, I'm, I'm getting into my extra strength um, adhesive. I really, like I said before, I hope they bring this back uh, for helping stick on peekaboo pockets. Another good choice is photo tape if you don't have the extra strength. And, oops, uh, yeah, no, Siri, you're in timeout, no talking. Okay, <laughs> let me put the top on here, and that's just going to line up. There we go, and just kind of squeeze that together. So you have a fun little element up top, and now I have a different type of tab but it's also a design element, really. And that's that's what sometimes I like, you know, all the little tabs and fun things is because it's a design element, especially because I have a circle over here. And then now I'm kind of marrying that over here. So I thought it would be fun to share that with you. And then uh, my last uh, layout was, um, again, mixing Father's Day with some general photos. I thought this was fun. It's John with my mom and me with John's mom. <laughs> so that's what, you know, I get to write uh, a little bit about, you know, how important these ladies are and were in our lives. And then I thought over here, um, this was actually Father's Day. And so I just wanted to share kind of another fun tip and I thought, okay, I'm going to put a title down. And then I thought, you know, for me, it's all about layers, right? Layers, layers, layers. So I, this is Cue the Blue. And over here, I actually just took some little scrap paper. And then remember the fun detail. Um, and I didn't get to this in the, the crop. So I want to make sure I mentioned that here for those of you uh, watching. But let me get a scrap paper. Let's say this one. Remember, the corner rounder is a two-way corner rounder, right? So this was just a little scrap paper, but I made it look like a tag. Isn't that cute? Because you just stick the corner in and you clip it. And then it makes that nice little rounded corner that makes it look like a tag. So you can cut this any size 
and then just clip the other corner and then tuck it in. And it's just a fun little design element. And that's the same thing I did right here with these layers is again, the reverse edge of the corner rounder here. Let me get a little closer so you guys can see right here. See the reverse edge. And so you can do it any size. You can do a layer and upon a layer. And then um, it just gives a really fun element. So let me kind of come over here. Sorry guys, it's a little crooked. You can see that, the tag. And so I just have kind of three different layers. This I dug into my title binder and found that really nice white um, ABC uh, title, laser title that says family. So for this little detail, I just wanted to share instead of going directly on this paper, I thought, nope, I'm going to bring in another layer. And so you can see, I, I stopped. I'm like, no, I'll do it with you guys just for fun. So this one um, is going to say Father's Day. And these are the white script ABCs. And can I tell you that, yes, since I put my ABCs in here, there's a, t a tidy up tips with, uh, you know, storing your ABCs. Since I did that, I get into that so much more than I used to. So this is going to be fathers. And then you can just, um, you know, instead of going, oh, where's the spacing going to end up? Is it, you know, is it going to be long, uh, too long or where's it going to, you know, should I center it? Put it on a layer and then you can just cut it to fit whatever you want to do there. So this is going to be, um, now the script stickers, when I use these, I don't know if we've ever talked about this, but I like to layer the, because they have the little tails on them, I like to layer the lowercase letters together. So, and, and I, I don't always stick them all the way down G H. Here's the H. Got to get that little inside piece out. Okay. I'm going to just take that, pop it. Can you see? Okay. Yeah. So, and, and not only do I layer, but I also kind of tilt just ever so slightly. Yes. Lauren says she tilts. It's true. It's true. My friends, I'm tilting. Okay. So, <laughs> There's the T and the H, okay? And then we need an E. Always remember to get those little inside bits out. And again, just give it a little bit of a spin, little bit, E and then R. Now, E and R, the R you can see kind of has, um, and a short part and a long part. So again, I like touching those. See how I'm touching those together? So they're not uh, floating apart. And then S. And this one can, again, attach to the scoopy of the R. You can see, like, I'm kind of going down. So what I'm going to do is kind of tilt this back up just a smidge. So you have to play with it just a bit to get it on here where you want it. There we go. Just so it's up. That's a little more um, in line. Okay, and then we need the apostrophe, which, boy, it's so hard to see white on white, isn't it? Where's the apostrophes? I think there's an apostrophe on this set, I would think. If not, look at this. I've got the inside of the E on my thumb, and that's, an, that's a perfect apostrophe. There we go. Okay, so we've got fathers and then... Once I like that, I can, you know, then I'll push them down and then we have day and I'll show you, that's just going to take a sec to put down. I love the 
the script. I'm, I'm sad that they're, they kind of phased, discontinued these because I think they make nice titles. Where is my A? <laughs> Here we go. D A. Actually, I didn't prepare for an ascender. Let's see how that Y is going to deal. Where's my Y? So, yeah, I should have planned for the Y. <laughs> it's okay. It's just going to hang off a little bit. And that's going to be fine because I'm cutting it. And, um, and it's going to layer right here. See? So I'm not going to redo it. I'm just saying it's fine. It's going to work. So now, super easy, all we're going to do is take our little personal trimmer, chop, chop, and just give it the same kind of feel on the front and on the top and the bottom. So this is about an inch and a quarter strip is what it's coming out to be. And just because it's fun, so you can see this one now has all this extra room. So I'm going to cut just a little off because I'm, I'm also going to do a fun little uh, miter cut. I mean, dovetail, whatever you want to call it, banner cut, not miter banner cut right here on the end. And that's so easy. You just take your scissors, go up the center, and then go from corner to center and corner to center, center. And then you've got just a fun, easy, layered title. I hope you guys can see that. And what a nice addition to the page, right? So just some fun little extra things uh, that I wanted to share with you to put the finishing touches on these layouts. So I'm going to just add some adhesive and again, not worried that the Y is hanging off that strip. It's fine with me. And we have that. And this one, um, I have to figure out where I'm going to do the journaling, but I might do a little, you know, under here <laughs> type journaling too uh, because I don't have more photos for this page as well. So I'm just going to pop this back in here in the pocket page. And that was the last two page. So this was page 15 and 16 that we finished in the crop. So there you have it. Um, one more little fun tip I want to give you because so many of you were asking, I want you to know photo templates are also back. So now I have two really pretty color um, things that, you know, to keep your cart organized and color coded so easy to find. We've got a pink box for photo templates. If you haven't already bought the templates, um, they now uh, are coming in a pink box. And then again, you can get the um, sentiment sticker organizer in my shop as well for organizing all your sentiment stickers. So yours can look like this and just um, probably not as ridiculous as that. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. So I think I've talked about everything I needed to share. That gave you a glimpse into Album in a Day. The class is still available. We're going to do part the part two workshop this Saturday. We went for three hours. I was totally fine with that. Um, and so we went for three hours. The, so the three hour replay is in the classroom as well as the prep video for album in a day. And those are under the classes tab. Okay. So let me check in and um, let me see with the number sheet. Oh, Jean, were you saying that the the I thought, I thought the the apostrophe were with the number sheet too, but white is so hard to find it. Let me see. Is it on here? Where's my numbers? Here we go. Z zeros one, two, three, four, five. I don't see them on the script. So um 
Yeah, weird, weird. May, I know typically they are on the number sheet. Either that or I'm just absolutely blind because it is really hard to look at white on white. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but um, hopefully that gave you just a few little fun tips and ideas um, for today. Just sharing a little glimpse into um, coming back at you here. Just sharing a little glimpse into clean, simple, classic pages and giving you that... Um, <laughs> Really, it, I, I give everybody the okay, including myself, to go back and really get those pages nailed out. I've got half of my album done, and so I'm going to finish it up this Saturday, my hope, uh, to finish up all the other pages, take you again through the process of how I do those simple, easy pages and the decisions that I make so that you can learn by watching. That's my whole goal is learn by watching or just hang out with me if you want to do your own thing. So that's totally fine too. But we will be meeting up on Zoom on Saturday at noon Pacific. If you would like to take the class and join in the live, we will be doing that this Saturday. Okay, um, let's see. Can I show the photo templates? Yep, let me, let me switch back over. So the photo templates, I have had different iterations in my shop. Um, back when CM had blue boxes, I had them in blue boxes and then I switched to clear boxes, but I found these adorable pink boxes. Love them. So now the templates are in the pink boxes and these go, um, I've, you know, kind of uh, changed up the format based on the material um, and what I feel like I use in my layouts. So there's just like a couple little two by twos, two and a half by two and a half, three by threes, um, three by threes, three and a half by three and a half, three by five, three and a half by five and a half, um, four by six, three by fours, four by three, you know, I mean, and the nice thing too, um, you know, if these take, I just have to say, these take a while to put together. So, um, because, you know, we found that it is helpful to have a template labeled not only with three by four going one way, but also four by three going the other way. So you can use these kind of in two different orientations. So it takes more work to you know, do put them all together that way. But, um, you know, just on based on some feedback and using them, this is kind of the new version, what we've come up with. So um, those are the photo templates. And if you want a DIY, I have a video on how to do it. It's not going to be this exact formula, but it's close enough on how you can get your own template material and cut them and label them and do the whole deal. And then the sentiment stickers, Again, this is just, uh, there are five um, dividers in this turquoise box for you that you get to label yourself. <laughs> so I'm not going to give you the labels for these. I'm just thinking, you know, that'll be easy enough for you to get your label maker and put what you want on your dividers. Okay. Any other questions? One type of layout, this type of layout is incredible. Thank you, Renee. Um, it has the photos as the star and the layout complements the photos. Thank you. And that that really was good to kind of come back full circle and go back to this type of scrapbooking. It just feels good and I love it. The other thing, oh, this is the other thing I wanted you to kind of get an idea. And I, I forgot to mention this earlier. Let me just come back in here and share. And I mentioned this in the class. And for me, there's kind of two ways that you can go about bringing consistency to your albums. And one would be like if you're working on a travel album, you use the same collection, right? That can bring consistency to your album. But the other thing that I've realized that you can have something that feels cohesive, that feels consistent in the way you approach your pages. So if you, even though pretty much every layout I used, except for Boho Escape, pretty much every layout um, has a different collection. 
But if I flip, so let me just flip really quickly through this. It feels cohesive because I approach my layouts the same way. I group my photos. I put those papers behind the photos in a way that complements those. Yes, I need another flop stopper. <laughs> and, um, and so that brings cohesiveness to my album as a whole by the way I approach my layouts. And for me, that is just so easy to look at when I look at my albums. It's so easy to look at that um, and not be distracted, you might say, by all the other stuff. You're really focusing on having fun with the collections, but they're not the primary objective. The primary objective for me is my photos and the stories. So you've heard it once, <laughs> you'll hear it again, um, but that's just, that's just me. That's what I love to do. Um, and the boxes, Joni, are um, five by seven, I believe. They'll hold a five by seven. They're the larger ones. Yeah. Um, they're the same size, actually, as the Creative Memories boxes. So they will fit right in your cart. So if you have a cart like I do with all your boxes of goodies, <laughs> they will. They're the same size. They'll fit right next to them. Okay. Yep. You're welcome, Debbie. Okay. <laughs> you learn something each time. I'm so, I'm so glad. Um, my, my, my album map, Jewel. Um, so the album map is part of album in a day. It's also part of my pop membership, but if you just want to grab the album map, you can also purchase that as a download from my website. Um, so uh, you just go to craftsomejoy.com. Let me do a quick page share, screen share here, craftsomejoy.com. That's you land right here on my website. And then if you go to shop exclusive downloads and workshops, um, all of my different downloads are here. And here's the album map. And um, if you go to shop, scrap some joy shop, you will um, see my featured product this week is 30% off the Wide Open Places Bundle. And don't forget to add your free gifts if you qualify. Um, this is the March exclusive gift. So we have one week left to get these sentiment stickers. And uh, this will be changing in April. And I'll be designing a new little gift for the month of April. And then here are all the goodies, the photo templates box and the storage case and dividers. I also have the Scrapbook Club stickers, which sold out so fast. So, and a few other new little goodies in here that you can check out. All right, there's the shop. So uh, enjoy all the different things and, you know, kind of new, what's new and lots of new. <laughs> And um, thank you all for joining in this Tuesday. Um, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day crafting your joy. And we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.